Welcome back trainers and we have an awesome video today. I'm very excited to bring you this been holding on to some of these battles because we had all this news but now we're going to go ahead and go over this and what is that well you know shadow nine tails with weather ball but not only that we're going to be using polytoad with its weather ball as well so good video and as of recording this shadow mawile is not talking to me Ah <laughs> uh, man, I feel like I've replaced it and it's sad too, but it's okay because Ninetales and Mawile both have their special unique abilities and what is that? Well, Mawile is going to be able to take on potential uh, dragons, right? Uh, as opposed to Ninetales, well it could potentially do it too with Psyshock, but what we're going to be running is Weather Ball and Solar Beam. You're going to see we're going to be beaming and it's not just for fun, We're well, maybe once, maybe once or twice, but... It is going to help me pull the win. So yeah, this is going to actually be able to take on Azumarill's potentially with that Solar Beam and other types. Uh, so they're both going to have that Fire Quick move, which is going to be doing a ton of damage. Uh, but Shadow Ninetales is going to be getting stabbed. Now Shadow Ninetales is also going to be able to take some hits. Fairly nice. I'm going to tell you, I wanted to make sure I had the full experience with this uh, Ninetales here when I did use it. Now, the thing is, I've always secretly have wanted Ninetales to be usable. It, it, it wasn't happening before. It definitely was not happening. But now, absolutely changing the game with this Weather Ball here. And having a Shadow Form. Oh, oh yeah. It, 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 it was just beautiful. I'm going to tell you. I, I'm i in love with this thing. So, anyways, let's get into the commentary. Oh, snap. We got an expert up in here. They have dropped their ELO so they can face the Ace King. If you do follow me on Twitter, you know that I've ranked up. We'll get into that here in a moment so we have an expert let's go so we had a great league <laughs> great league great lead up against that galarian stunfisk although rockside is also going to be hurting quite a bit so they did catch it with their pelipper very nice and we're going to be gaining a little bit of energy before we do swap into our polytoad here now hurricane is going to hurt their weather ball is going to do not very effective and we just got baited that does not feel great so let's see if we can bait them in return and we do fantastic because blizzard would have taken them out there Getting to another Blizzard, we're going to let this go through, and it's definitely going to be Hurricane. Yeah, uh -huh, absolutely. Able to get to the Blizzard, though. Let's see if we are able to connect this, or they double shield it. They're going to be double shielding their Pelipper over there. Almost makes me think that they know my team, but <laughs> I haven't shown anybody anything, unless you did see that tweet that I did put out with the last two. I didn't actually show the uh, Polytoad. But anyways, going in with the shift tree here, and we're going to be able to take them out. There is no more shields on their end. They're going in with a Frost last, and I was afraid they might have you know, tried to catch this, but I don't think they would have been in a good position anyways. Um, so this is fantastic. They're going in with the uh, Galarian Stunfisk here. Rock Slide is going to hurt. Uh, it's going to take us out here now. Earthquake is useless. So what we're going to do is swap into our Ninetales and actually shield this up. We know that they have not gained too much energy. They're going to be able to get to another one here. That's perfectly fine that we're going to go down here. But this thing is, we're going to be able to get off this weather ball. We're surviving it. Do you see the tankiness on this thing? We're not dealing with the, the frailness of Mawile anymore. Although Mawile is going to be fantastic up against certain types and certain moves. But uh, Ninetales just has its place. So we have a chestnut lead. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good lead. They're going to be swapping into an Alola Marowak. We're going to go right into our Politoed. You already know what it is. So this is great. Azumarill up against the uh, Alola Marowak can be okay, I suppose. Bubble. But then you have Ice Beam and Play Rough. Not very effective. And then if you want to hit them with super effective charge movement, you have to build all the way up to Hydro Pump. If you even have that, they could potentially shield it. The thing about Politoed is it's going to be able to spam the Weather Ball at an extreme rate, ripping and tearing away those shields from the opponent with force. So let's go... <laughs> Um, we let that go through. That's perfectly fine. What I want to do at this point is go in here and farm down with Shiftry. They're going to be hurting us quite a bit, but now we have a ton of energy and we're all good to go. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Leaf Blade. It's not very effective, but it is going to be more efficient because uh, Foul Play is also going to be not very effective. And uh, we're just simply going to go for these Leaf Blades. As you can see here, adding up on the damage. Now, the plan is to simply let this go through. Yeah, that's right. We're going to put all our hope into the Ninetales here. They're going to be swapping instantly into that Mandibuzz when we go into our Ninetales, our last Pokemon. And we already have energy built up here. Doing a lot of damage to the man. Well, I am doing mediocre damage. Mandibuzz is thick. It can take hits. Look at that thing. How annoying. All right, so we're going to just continue on with the weather balls here. We do have that shield advantage, so that is what we have working for us. Let's see if we're going to be able to pull this off. Pretty sure we can here. We still have two shields left, so we're absolutely going to shield this up. Foul play. I was getting a little nervous. Like, what are you doing? Just shield, shield it up, right? Okay. Uh, so 
going to be letting this go through because I was afraid that their other Pokemon was going to be able to come out instantly and hit us with the charge move and watch. Oh, they back right out. They already know. So that's going to be a GG there. And uh, Ninetales helping take the win there. Fantastic. Let's keep it going here. And we're met with a Bastodon. This isn't great. We're going to have to swap instantly. Now, if you do follow me on Twitter, I posted this battle. You already know the ending. Oh boy, this is a crazy one here. Let's see what we have going on. So they're going to be swapping into their Deoxys. Not too many. Well, you know, Thunderbolt is still kind of common on Deoxys. A lot of people like to go with the Psycho Boost and Rock Slide nowadays. So I was maybe hoping that they don't have a Rock Slide. Let's see. Or I mean, uh, Thunderbolt. And they have Thunderbolt. <laughs> All right, you know what it is. Okay, so at this point, we can go shift three counter. It's going to hurt, though. But we're just going to go back in here with the nine tails, Build up to a Weather Ball and see if we... I don't know if this will KO the Deoxys, actually, at this point. It does. All right, just enough to take them out. Fantastic. So we don't have to waste the shield there on a potential rock slide. Getting us some energy and then swapping into our shift tree here. Now, this is going to get pretty intense. We're going to go ahead and use our first shield because Flamethrower, we don't really want to see that. Building up some extra energy here so we can just, you know, hit them back to back with some of these Leaf Blades. Or if they want to potentially swap, we have energy. And they're going to be staying in here. Be a little cautious on potentially them trying to catch. And we're going to continue on here. They're going to be getting to another charge move. I do believe we're absolutely going to shield this up again. Shiftery is what we have to rely on at this point. Building up energy, a little lag. Oh, that's always fun, 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 fun. And we're getting to two of these Leaf Blades here. There goes the first one, and here goes the next one, and we're almost halfway to another one, looks like. Shiftry just gaining energy so quickly, them taking us out. Going in with our Ninetales that doesn't have that much health left and energy. You ready for the first beam, folks? Yeah, let's watch this satisfying beam on the Azumarill. One of the most annoying things. I use it. I'm not saying anything against the opponent. I'm just saying it's satisfying. And then taking out the stinking Bastodon with a quick move. Ninetales, are you kidding me? Mawile's over here giving me the look. <laughs> that should have been me. Hey, Mawile. It, it, I mean, you, you can't take on the Azumarill like that. All right, Iron Head does work, but, you know, it's no solar beam from a Shadow Ninetales. Look at the score. We're destined to be stuck in Ace as the Ace King. <laughs> no, we're going to get out. So we're met with a Shadow Vic. Okay, bring it on, buddy. They're swapping into a Registeel. So I had to think about it if I wanted to stay in here. So I, I swapped into my Politoed because we don't really want to see the uh, Shadow Vic with this water type, right? As well as the charge moves we have. We'll get a, a Blizzard through, but we'll more than likely almost be taken out by then. Anyways, we're looking great here. We let that first one go through. It was just a flash cannon. They try to bait us here. This thing is going to be building up a ton of energy before they do anything, looks like. And we're just going to be spamming the heck out of them with Weather Ball. We did get the shields out of them. Uh, building up to a blizzard or a potential earthquake and making them think we have that. So that was great there, getting those shields. So they're shieldless. Going for another weather ball. This is getting a little close. They have a bunch of energy. I, Yeah, they're just trying to store it up. Very clever there. That was very clever. But what we're going to do is just go ahead and go in here with the you know, <laughs> Shadow Ninetales and just destroy it. Down it goes. That ready still has a ton of energy. What do they have in the back, though? Are they going to reveal their last Pokemon? And it is going to be a Bastodon. So I was... Did you see me, like, click over to the Solar Beam? I was like, oh, we're going to... Oh, no, let's just go Shift 3 first. Let's just put in work onto this thing and then hit it with Weather Balls. I don't know how much a Solar Beam would have done, and I honestly... Let's just do what we have planned here. So they're going to be swapping into their uh, Registeel, and I'm like, oh, boy. We're able to get to the Leaf Blade still, so that's okay. It didn't really matter, even if they took me out, we just go in with Ninetales, farm them down. But I feel like they had almost two of those back-to-back -back ready to go at that point. Going in with the Ninetales, and we're going to be able to beam this thing here. And let's go, another beam for the win. Let's get it. Weather Ball wouldn't have done it. Maybe two at that point, for sure. Maybe two and a half. I don't I haven't done the Sims, but all I know is Solar Beam it. Let's go. All right, so we're met with an Azumarill. This is not great. So we're going to gain a little energy to swap into our, our Politoed. This is by no means a really good counter to Azumarill. If they're running, I don't know, Ice Beam and Hydro Pump, we'll be looking fantastic. But if there's a Play Rough involved, you're going to be at an extreme disadvantage. Now, if you do have the Legacy Earthquake, you know, good on you. But I feel like having a Blizzard is going to be pretty nice. It takes forever to get there, but you can hit those uh, Dragons for one shot or even some Flyers like Atropius or do a lot of damage to a... Uh, Skarmory. Although, if you're going up against Skarmory, unless you accidentally threw a blizzard and somebody tried to catch it like you just seen there, Weather Ball is the way to go. 
going in with shiftry and aggressively farming down <laughs> yeah it took almost half our health but now we have a bunch of energy they're going in with sableye and it appears that that was the correct play to do so awesome and we're going to go ahead and go for that leaf blade here and going for another one as we can see it is purified so we need to look out for that but they don't even get a charge move through so it doesn't matter going in with the nine tails here and we're going to be able to win this we have a shifter in the back we have two shields we're letting this go through it is a play rough we do resist that so we're going to be oh so i miss <laughs> i don't know why all right they have two shields left okay so that's i was trying to get the shield out of them should have just went for solar beam there that would have been epic um but they realize that I'm trying to bait their shields out of them. And I have a shiftery back here. So two shields left. The quick move's not doing much. It's just a matter of time before we take them out. Although it is going to be kind of close here. Because they still have two shields left. So going for the first leaf blade. Alrighty. Going for the second one. That's both shields. And I do believe they back out after I hit this here. They're like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, well, they just let it go through. All right, thank you for saving us both some time there. Into the next battle, we're going to be met with a, another Azumarill. So that's another horrible lead. We're going to go ahead and swap into Politoed, and they're going to be going into Hypno here. So we're going to build up a bunch of energy and go ahead and go for Weather Ball. Now, this is a Shadow, so it's going to be taking a little bit more damage than the regular Hypno. As we know, regular Hypno is tanky. Shadow Hypno, I mean, it's still somewhat bulky, right? Especially with the damage output that it is going to be having and the diverse move pool as well. It's an all around great Pokemon. So going for another Weather Ball here, just going to spam these out. No need to go for a Blizzard. I mean, we could have, but they are very dedicated to using their shields here. So good thing we didn't waste those Blizzards. Going to go ahead and let this go through. Thunder Punch is going to be able to take us out. Now, you would think I would go in here with uh, the Shiftry, but what we're going to do is go ahead and go in here with the Ninetales. I... I just do this, all right? Because we know we have an Azumarill back there, right? So that's why we're going in with this. They're going to be going back in with their Azumarill. And since we have no more shields left on their end, we're going to go ahead and go for Solar Beam, but they're going to be swapping. It looked like they were trying to catch a Solar Beam. Haha, <laughs> very clever, but not today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just spam this thing with the Weather Balls. Now, this is not a great position for me because Shiftry is not going to be looking too hot up against that. So our game plan here is to bring it as low as possible while still holding on to that last shield. And now Shiftry is going to be able to uh, take this thing out here. Yes, Grass Move is going to be resisted, but Shiftry hits so hard. Look at that. Beautiful damage. So we're going to go ahead and let this Aerial Ace go through. We can take this no problem. And the quick moves from Azumarill are not going to be doing anything. Shielding up this potential Ice Beam. It is a play rough. There's our win con. They can't get to an Ice Well, they have no Ice Beam. Getting to another play rough is going to take too long. We're going to be able to get to this. And that Mandibuzz has used its energy. We're still going to be able to pull this one off. Man, we played around this very well with that horrible lead. Let's get it. Taking them out. In comes the Mandibuzz. We're hitting that Leaf Blade, folks. Let's go. Hit that like button for the Shiftry. Taking the win up against the Mandibuzz. Love it. Let's go. All right, on to the next battle. We're met with a veteran. Oh, boy. Let's go. Seeing more and more of these as we do rise up. We're met with a Surf Fetch tier. We're just going to hold our ground. <laughs> we know it has Leaf Blade and potentially Night Slash. More than likely, they're going for a Night Slash, so we're going to be shielding that up here. Let's see if we can get a shield in return. So Surf Fetched hits hard, but it can't really take a hit. And they're going to be using their shield here. They are outpacing us as far as the quick moves are concerned. But that's fine. If we can bring them down to zero shields as well, then let's go ahead and do it. If they let this go through, then we're going to have the swap advantage. And they're going to be using their last shield. We're going to go ahead and swap into Politoed. And we already know we're going to be able to spam this so fast that we're going to be able to do it before they're able to get to a charge move. Taking them out. Absolutely beautiful. Love this. We are locked in here, so it doesn't look like they have a hard counter. I would assume that this Hypno does have some sort of Thunder Punch, which is great for us because we're going to be able to go in here after the Polito does go down and potentially farm down what is left of the Hypno with the Shift Tree and just destroy whatever is back there. Fingers crossed that it's an Azumarill Thunder Punch and they did not hit all the bubbles. That's for certain. What they were trying to do there is gain a little more energy so they can have residual energy ready to go for our next Pokemon, but no actually no they're able to <laughs> okay that was a very well timed thing there they have one hp so we're gonna go ahead and throw in the shift tree they have freaking fire punch folks wow of course they do and they have a drift blim in the back we have a shield left we should be able to win this so that's gonna pretty much almost one shot it and we're gonna go down here but it's all up to the nine tails let's go Nine Tails taking out the Drift Blim. Nine Tail. Oh, they don't even let me take out the hip. No, they back out in a rage with one HP. Hey, I don't blame you. I've been there, done that. Taking another four wins here, folks. You see the score? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, 2,499 big boy over here. Let's go graduating out of third grade and moving into fourth grade. Oh my goodness, I did it. <laughs> All right, no, but seriously, I'm not trying to like make fun of people who are lower ranks or anything. You guys know it's just been an ongoing joke here. Anyways, we're met with an Altaria. This is horrible. Otherwise, Mawile is over here laughing on the bench like you should have picked me. And so we're swapping into Politoed because it has Blizzard and they're going to be going into their Hypno Purified. So we have to potentially look out for Return um you know thunder punch 2 there's a lot of things to look out for on the hypno and they're just letting these go through and it's really not doing much as you can see regular hypno is just so bulky and it's going to be a thunder punch there we're going to just keep spamming these um weather balls and we will be able to go in with the uh shift and farm down if they let this go through barely surviving and that's not much farm but it you know better than nothing i guess so shift here we go and hopefully this is a thunder punch here and it is very nice not very effective and we're getting a little bit of farm with shift tree which is nice and they're going in here with alteria they are down a shield so we're simply just going to go for the foul play and stay in here with the shift tree for now because nine tails doesn't have much play shift tree does take super effective from the flying uh, sky attack here but at least we're going to be able to spam the foul play very fast so instead of baiting we're just going to go for another one here i'm not even going to play around uh, we're getting that last shield, that's fine, and now that's where we can swap. So they go into a whiz cash. Are you ready for the beam? Are you ready for the... Put that smile on your face. I know you're ready for the beam. I know you want to see that. Ready? Here we go. And whiz cash is going to eat eat the beam. But what about Altaria? What are we going to do about all that? Oh, let's see how this does work out. Getting to a weather ball here. Now, at this moment, I realize they're going to have to use their energy they can't farm us down all right so that just uh, secured the win for me in my mind i'm just gonna go in here with shift tree they have no more energy and just simply farm them down and that's what i thought in my mind this guy had freaking two of these sky attacks built up and that was well played controlling that energy and me being a klutz and not counting and paying attention to all that energy stored up good game moving it on we're met with a wiggly tough and they're gonna be swapping into a a little Marowak, so that was a good lead for us up against that uh, Charm user. And this is a decent matchup for us as well. As you can see, pretty much one-shotting that thing over there. We're going to let this charge move go through because everything they're going to be throwing at us is not going to be very effective unless they do have Flame Wheel, which is obviously super effective. Uh, letting it go through, and they're taking us out with the quick move, which is fine. Going to go ahead and go in here with the Ninetales and farm down a bit. Got a couple more battles for you here, folks. They're going back in with the Wigglytuff, and that was a big, big, big red flag that there's something back there that absolutely does not want to see the Ninetales if they're going to be bringing out a Charm user up against a Shadow Ninetales. So I, in the back of my mind, is thinking we, we don't want to let this thing die. They're actually letting it go down. They have a Machamp back there, and I'm like, I guess... Uh, we have a Polito, just gonna be able to spam the heck out of it. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get one shield and then swap here. Since we still have two, we're just gonna be able to simply shield everything that Machamp's gonna throw at us and we're gonna be able to spam these very fast. And seeing that Machamp shadow is very squishy, we're gonna be able to take it out as soon as we get one of these weather balls through, no problem here. So nice, nice stuff, good stuff here. This Shadow Ninetales, guys, is so fun to use. I'm telling you what, I have several of them. I even have a shiny. But, uh, you know, it's Shadow, so we're going to just go ahead and stick with this one here. But anyways, moving it on to, I do believe, like, uh, we have a couple more battles here. Oh, boy. Oh, snap. We're met with a Shadow Mawile. They swap into Shadow Hypno here. This is something right here, folks. The Mawile versus the Ninetales. Obviously, the Ninetales wins because we're Fire-type. We're super effective against the Steel-type over there while resisting the fire themselves. And this is just looking fantastic. Uh, obviously, they're going to go back in here with Mawile. We already know how this works out. We obviously run it. Uh, so simply just go for leaf plates at this point. You would think foul play. Now just go leaf plate because it hurts so much. And in case they use their shield here. So you're good to go. Uh, getting another one through. Beautiful. And they're going to be able to farm us down. I'm not worried. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and go in here with Ninetales. And they're going to be going in with uh, Mew. We kind of go in with Ninetales to gain a little energy. And then swap into Politoed to take this charge move. It's going to be a Grass Knot. Gee whiz. Come on, man. Let's go. If they do beat me, you know, awesome because they have our signature mascot. So it is what it is. But uh, let's still put up a fight here. Mew is very unpredictable. So we know first move, Grass Knot. What else do you have back there? Probably Wild Charge. The most annoying stinking move on Mew for sure. Especially when they have two. It's a Flame Charge. So we're going to be able to resist everything. This is looking great. Okay. Okay. So hitting that Weather Ball. Contemplating whether or not that was a good idea or not. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and shield this this Grass Knot up, I guess. 
and they're going to be going with Mawile. It had energy, but it just goes down. GG, and on to the next battle. We're met with an expert, guys. Look out, here comes an expert. So, uh... That was like probably one of the best leads in Obama Snow. They're swapping into Sableye Purified, so we have to look out for that return. We already know that's going to hurt, and that's obviously what they're going to build up to. They have no time to waste, to, you know, build up to a, a return and then a, a foul play because return takes forever. Uh, so there they go with that return, and they haven't used the shield. We're building up too, and just in case they decide they want to shield up the Sableye here, we're going to be able to hit them back to back. And they're letting it go through. Fine by me. We are down a shield. They are up one. They're going in with Obama Snow. We're going to go with that foul play. I don't care if they shield this. I don't care if they let it go through. All I know is I have a nine tails in the back that's ready to light that thing up. They're going to be swapping, gaining a little bit of energy and taking us out. They think they're slick over there by uh, finishing us off with energy. Okay, you think you're all that? Let's go and bring it on. We're going to go ahead and go with that weather ball, getting their first shield out of that toxic oak here. Now, nine tails doesn't necessarily want to see the toxic oak because of the mud bomb. So they're getting a sludge bomb through. Figured that this, that's what they were going to do and. uh yeah, it's not looking great here, but we're getting the last shield and instantly swapping into our nine tails here. We're going to be shielding this up 100% for sure. That mud bomb is going to hurt a lot. Getting a little bit more energy. They're swapping, which is uh, perfectly fine. That's fine. And we're going to let this go through, which is great. We were able to sneak in a, a fire spin there and another fire spin there. So that's a little bit more energy. Getting to the weather ball and hello and goodbye Toxic Croak. I must say that was very clever though, and that toxic group to take us out while we had energy, but we're going to be coming back from that one. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.